Let's talk a little bit about what happened during the week uh, that was reported in the papers about the faces of kind of famous Irish people being... What, what, maybe tell me what happened. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, face, like well-known faces in Ireland, their faces, including mine, were photoshopped onto naked bodies and now I'm basically on porn websites, which yeah. is fantastic. Which is actually probably not only invasive, but it's really a kind of ugly thing to happen to you, I would imagine. Yeah, it's, do you know, I'm not upset about it. I'm annoyed about it because these are images that go up and this was part of one of the shows that I did. They go up and there's nothing I can do about it. They go up onto one site, then they go up onto hundreds of sites and you, you can't get them down. They'll never come down. Yeah. And like, I work in London as well and like, Employers might see that and be like, oh, well, we didn't know she was into porn. Maybe we won't give her the job. Yes. And it's like things like that. And even like people that I don't know may, may, might look at it and say, oh, well, that's what she's doing. And it's yeah. obviously not what I'm doing. But there's not really at the moment any laws in Ireland to, to stop all that. And I suppose the Internet, you, you can't stop it because it's like wildfire. As well, soon this as is it the thing. On. We're going to talk about pornography on the Internet at some length later on in the program. But realistically the internet strikes me as being like the wild west in the old days it's unpoliceable there's no sheriff yeah there's and nobody you're, you're, can do you, anything. you can't say well, stop that because there's no one there's no one that seems to be answerable no because you, you just can't stop it it's just like they go there's the internet is even darker than that that's like minuscule compared to what actually happens on the internet as well but it's just one of those things like even with revenge porn re revenge porn is becoming Huge, and mm -hmm. you know, it's mainly men who do it to women. Mm -hmm. I haven't come across a story where a woman has done it to a man, but it's like if a, if a, a guy and a girl break up, and he might have images from when they were together or videos, and then he'll put it up and post it on the yeah. internet, and that's it. That's her name in Google, and there'll be thousands of things under the Google search of her name, and those things will come up, and she can't get them down. He can't be prosecuted, and it's just like you tarnish someone's image, and you can get in trouble for it, like with the law. But you you can put up a video of her her like performing a sex act or something like yes, that yeah. and you can get away with it and it's just like we need to catch up quite quickly with that.